my channel tea time style time today i wanted to share some of my picks for essential shoes for a basic wardrobe and this is kind of work from home still as well as start to open back up so in a perfect world uh you would need all of these shoes but realistically like for myself right now i only wear flip-flops or sandals <laughs> or slippers or maybe uh, trainers most of the time. Here's what I've selected for you. And I do have another pair of trainers on their way, but these are my current pair. They are Tinkerbell, bright neon running shoes. Um, they've got really great cloud foam. And I like these because they glow in the dark. I like to make a statement if I'm gonna be wearing trainers. Next pair of shoes that I have that I would recommend are a pair of like Converse style shoes or like lower top flats that are more appropriate. These are beat up. These are super goth and they're very popular in Europe. Um, Duchess Kate has a pair. At first, they're a little hard to get used to because of this big um, heel, but I have had these for about two years and I find once they're broken in, they're really comfortable. They do come in European sizes, so if you want to pair, just make sure you do the conversion. I wear seven and a half and I got a 38 and that's kind of big. So they do run so through the heels. I have these Capizios and these were actually dance shoes. I had a, um, uh, I can't think of the word right now, but I had a gentleman put a pair of soles on the bottom. Cobbler, that's the word. And you can see the original leather. The reason I went with these is because they're very, very, very comfortable. Here are a pair of very dirty Vironic sandals. These may not look the sexiest, but as you can see, they have really good um, soles and excellent arch support. I can wear these for hours and hours and hours, and when I go on my next trip, they'll be the ones I want to wear. They do look kind of cute with this little metal detailing. And I think arch support for me these days is more important than next looking are a pair of low ankle dress boots. These are from London Fog. These are very comfortable. I've worn these a very many places, including Paris, London, Tokyo. Um, on the inside, they are padded. It's kind of hard to see. There is a zipper detailing on this side. And they're really nice. Um, they do get a little hot in summer, but I think they're... So I did want to say, you guys may have noticed a lack of flats in my collection. And that is actually done on purpose. Um, because of lockdown the last year, I actually have gotten rid of every single pair of flats I own. Because I am on the search for something that's really comfortable and stylish. I was actually saving for a pair of designer flats, either Chanel or Dior. But uh, right now it's just turned into saving up for a new handbag <laughs> or jewelry. Uh, so right now, if I need to go anywhere that requires flats, I usually wear my Byronic sandals or I'll go ahead and wear trainers if I can get away with it. So that is just my little thoughts on the These flats. are the New Balance shoes. Very, very comfortable. These are the Superga. These do make a squishing noise. But I like these better than Converse. The ankle boots, London Fog. These are the Capizias. I wear as heels. They are a great height. I can still array like a little ballerina if I wanted to. And last but not least are my Vironic shoes.
so very very comfy i wear these everywhere thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys on the next go around stay safe out there